There are some generally known Disney facts that a lot of people are aware about. Like the reoccurring code A113 showing up in nearly every Pixar and Disney movie ever made and it's actually a room at the California Institute of Arts where many Disney and Pixar animators learn their craft. Or what about the fact that many of the early Disney characters have no mothers because of the guilt that Walt Disney felt over his own mother's death in 1938. Why guilt you ask? Well because after the success of Snow White, he bought a home for his parents but due to a faulty heating system in the home, his mother died by carbon monoxide poisoning. Hey guys, welcome back to Daily List. I'm so happy to see you here once again. I'm Azalea Hart. I have to give a huge shout out to Megan Post, one of the subscribers, for suggesting this topic. I'm going to go through 12 Disney favorite movies and facts about each one. So let's get into it, starting with The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid was one of my childhood favorites, especially the song Part of Your World. Wish I could be part of that world. But did you know that Ariel was actually based on Alyssa Milano? From her body to her personality, that's who they wanted Ariel to look like. Were you the inspiration for this character? I actually was, yeah. Really? <laughs> Next fact, you know that scary octopus woman Ursula? Well, she was modeled after the drag character Divine. The resemblance is uncanny. Do those poor unfortunate souls don't you just love when you see other Disney characters in movies that have nothing to do with them? So do I. Well, you can spot Mickey Mouse, Goofy, and Donald Duck in the crowd of sea people in the opening scene when King Triton arrives. His Royal Highness King Triton! <laughs> Last fun fact for Little Mermaid. Sebastian the Lobster was originally supposed to be English, and not Jamaican. I think he works as being Jamaican though. Under the sea. Under the sea. Next up, we have The Lion King. Did you know that the roars in the movie are actually tiger's roars and not lion's roars? Because the lions weren't loud enough. <laughs> doesn't have a good ring to it though. In Hercules, Scar is the lion that Hercules kills and wears as a trophy. And did you know in Can You Feel the Love Tonight was originally supposed to be sung by Timon and Pumbaa? Can you feel the love I don't think the song would have had the same romantic feel if it was though. Speaking of Pumbaa, Pumbaa was the first Disney character to ever fart and Disney was actually sued by biologists for the defamation of hyenas. Like, get out of here. But I mean, I guess it's kind of true. Have you ever looked at a hyena and said, oh, that's so cute? Mufasa. <laughs> Mufasa. 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 <laughs> Me neither. Everyone's most recent fave, Frozen. Did you know that this single frame of Elsa walking out of her ice mansion took more than 132 hours or five days to complete? And it even took 50 different animators to work on the scene where the ice palace was built. That is crazy. Also, Elsa was supposed to be a villain. But I mean, how could you make the sister the villain? Speaking of villains, Anna singing Love is an Open Door. Love is an Open Door. With Hans, it's the first time a Disney princess has ever performed a duet with a villain. And if you're a fan of Mary Poppins, <laughs> Olaf references Dick Van Dyke's Penguin Dance from Mary Poppins when he performs the summer song. <laughs> Moving on to Aladdin, his look was actually based on which actor? Take a guess. Tom Cruise. The voice of Aladdin is Scott Wayner, who plays DJ's boyfriend Steve on Full House. There's even a scene of Steve dressed as Aladdin when the family goes to Disney World. Jafar was based on Maleficent. They both carry a staff. Listen well, all of you. Have a bird henchman and both transform into a giant animal. Perhaps you'd like to see how snake-like I can be. Every kid wanted a clownfish after watching Finding Nemo, but that led to actually harming the clownfish population because everybody was buying up tons and tons of clownfish for the kids. Another fun fact, Nemo actually made a cameo in Monsters Inc. as Boo's stuffed animal before the movie even came out. And how about one more terrifying fact? If the events of Finding Nemo actually happened and Nemo's mother and siblings got eaten, Nemo's father would have developed female sex organs and bred with Nemo. 
Awkward. The voice of Boo is Mary Gibbs and she was just a toddler at the time. The production team would actually follow her around the studio as she played to piece together Boo's dialogue. La, 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 la. And this is her now. Sully the lovable monster was actually first created with tentacles, but the film writers thought that it might be a little bit too distracting, so they gave him legs. Well, that's very nice. <laughs> One more Sully fact, he has more than 2.3 million individual hairs, which are all animated. And a single frame of him took 12 hours to produce. So if you were ever wondering, it would actually take 9.4 million balloons to lift Carl's house. You know, if you ever wanted to try it. Afternoon. Russell from Up is modeled after a Pixar employee, and young Ellie is voiced by the daughter of the director, Ellie Doctor. This first fact may creep you out a little bit. The voice actress who played cute little Lilo also played terrifying Samara in the ring. You know who I'm talking about, the girl who just crawls through the screen? Oh god. Cindy? Cindy, something's wrong here! Originally, the filmmakers were thinking to set the movie in Kentucky or Kansas, but finally decided on Hawaii, and Lethal wasn't even part of the story until several drafts later. It was supposed to be just about an alien landing on a strange planet. I don't know how parents let this happen, but over 50 kids were hospitalized after the release of The Princess and the Frog because they became ill after kissing frogs. <laughs> Remember in Frozen when Olaf's dance was just like the penguin dance from Mary Poppins? Well, so was this scene. We are all looking forward to the live musical of Beauty and the Beast coming out later on this year. Papa? Now you must leave here. This castle is alive. But did you know that Beast is a combination of seven different animals? He has the mane of a lion, the beard and head of a buffalo, Brow of a gorilla, eyes of a human, tusks of a wild boar, the body of a bear, legs and tail of a wolf. Voila! Oh, you look so, so stupid. And like I said before, it's always fun seeing other Disney characters in other movies. Well, you can see the China set in Tarzan, and did you know that in the Chinese version of Beauty and the Beast, Jackie Chan, you know, <laughs> Jackie Chan was the speaking and singing voice of the Beast. Tangled is the second most expensive movie ever made, costing $250 million. And at last I see the light, and it's like the sky is blue. I mean, that's even more than James Cameron's Avatar. The most expensive movie ever made is also a Disney movie, Pirates of the Caribbean. That would never have worked out between us. Keep telling yourself that, darling. Tangled is the first Disney princess film to receive a PG rating. All others are rated G. And here's a fun fact. If you laid out the individual hairs of a person with 12 inches of hair end to end, they would reach 26 miles. Rapunzel though, her hair would reach 1,820 miles. Whoa. All right guys, we've reached the end of this episode of Daily List. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time here, hit that red button down below so you can subscribe and not miss another episode. Next up, we have number one, Toy Story. One, two, and three. When Jessie, played by Joan Cusack, first meets Woody, played by Tom Hanks, she says, a sweet mother of Abraham Lincoln. Prospector said someday you'd come. <gasps> sweet mother of Abraham Lincoln, the prospector, he'll want to meet ya. And Abraham Lincoln's mother was Nancy Hanks, a blood relative of Tom Hanks. <clears throat> All right, close your eyes. And they go, what? She says, just close your eyes. And the kid goes, <laughs> And then I said, we gotta get back to Andy's room right away, guys! And then they go... <laughs> <laughs> the pizza truck from Toy Story is very popular in other Disney movies. You can catch it in Cars, A Bug's Life, Ratatouille, Monsters, Inc., Up, and Finding Nemo. And you remember that kid, Sid? Sid from Toy Story makes an appearance in Toy Story 3 as the garbage man. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Daily List. My name is Azalea Hart. If you want to keep up with what I'm doing, follow me on social media so you don't miss a beat when I'm not in the studio. And I'll see you guys next time.